Hey guys, it's Matt here again. Uh, doing a follow-up video to my original post for the PT-101. Wanted to uh, bring a little more information to the table that I missed out on last time. Uh, the 92 model Beretta, which is a 9mm, they have also incorporated the same design to the PT-101. Uh, 40 caliber as opposed to the 9mm. Uh, what the magazine entails is a 16 round capacity on this particular model. Now the other versions that you'll see out there will be 10 round capacity so it is a unique to this particular model which you know depending on what you're looking for out there I always consider the, the higher capacity uh, is going to be better than uh, and some of the lowers. This particular model does have the rail on the front of it. Uh, allows you to mount uh, lights and lasers without having to add on any type of adapter piece to that which makes it great, makes it a uh, unique feature to the gun. Also the sight system on it is adjustable now on your 92 model and your 100 model which is the 40 caliber version on the Taurus it is a uh, it's fixed sight whereas on the, the 99 and on the 101 it's an adjustable sight uh, a flathead screwdriver changes the wind and elevation on uh, the gun itself uh, key feature on it is a three position uh, safety uh, it has a safe mode uh, your fire position and then also a decocker your center release uh, for the top slide. And you can see the gun is cocked right now. A red showing in a firing position. That would be your safety off. Uh, the safety on, which the gun can be cocked and loaded in a safe position. The trigger mechanism won't fire. Uh, switch to fire and then switch down to decock weapon in a safe position. Well, the gun will not fire and be decocked, uh, just added safe to it. Also there's a position in the back of the unit itself, uh, a key insert that will lock out the uh, the fire mechanism from working on this gun as well. Now also you can see as far as taking the gun down is fairly simple, uh, easy process. Uh, there is one lever to uh, flip on this one, uh, basically releasing the slide press the uh, button down, flip the lever down, and the front assembly will slide forward, coming off completely. You can see there with the uh, bolt mechanism and the spring. goes on just as simple. Just slides on. Pulled back, and the lever will be switched back uh, upright and uh, the the guns back assembled so it makes it easy for cleaning and uh, you know other various things take the gun apart field stripping uh, now the 40 caliber round it is a uh, federal uh, FBI developed uh, ammunition the reason being is that uh, ammo like the 9 millimeter um, and the stopping power versus the penetration just wasn't meeting the standards to what they wanted the uh, the weapon and the ammunition to be, so they developed the uh, the 40 caliber Smith and Wesson round. Um, the unique feature about it is the stopping power versus the uh, the velocity that the, the round usually travels at, which is in between 900 to 1100 feet per second. Uh, this is a comparison chart between the 9mm and the 40 caliber. You can see the 40 in purple and the 9 in blue, and it shows the incapacitation time between the rounds. Um, pretty, you know, small difference between the two. And you can also see, as far as the uh, cavitation between the 9mm round, uh, the 40 and the 45, which the 40 runs fairly close to the 45 ACP round as far as the uh, cavitation and the uh, penetration uh, for that as well making it very effective uh, for its size and also uh, uh, the capacity that you can run compared to the 45. Um, that's basically a quick review 
Uh, if you guys have any questions or if I missed out on anything, please let me know. I uh, appreciate all your comments, uh, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.